welcome. My name is Niels Vogt from Göttingen and it's a great pleasure uh, to welcome on behalf of the Science tomorrow, scientists of tomorrow, uh, Catherine Boileau from Paris, uh, who was awarded with a William Harvey lecture on basic science and it's a great honor uh, to interview you here. So welcome and we Thank would you. like to start with the first question. So which discoveries um, consider, do you consider as milestones in your scientific career and how did they lead to the William Harvey lecture? Well, that's a hard question. It's a hard question because I think that on a day-to-day -day basis we're never fully aware that we are uh, tackling a milestone. I think the best moments, anyhow, the ones we're very aware of are the ones when we get this positive statistical result and we know we've reached something. And that's always a great uh, moment in the lab to share with people. So if you ask me about the milestones, I would answer, the quick answer would be all my very positive statistical uh, results. So what role do you see for genetics in the development of new discoveries, in the development of new therapeutic targets? I think, I think genetics has um, uh, a, a wonderful um, future. It also, it already has a past, of course, but th I think there's really a future um, because as the PCSK9 story shows, um, if you can have the natural human mutants, you have really, you define a target, you can show the efficacy, and you can show the safety. So, I mean, what, what else can you ask for? <laughs> so I think that there is a future, but there's only a future if there is excellent, excellent science, of course, but also excellent clinical description of, of subjects. And that's not always easy to get. So when you look back into your career, what were the major challenges and or opportunities you were having or you were facing? Challenges, we all have many. We all have many. Opportunities, I think, is meeting people, uh, meeting my first mentors. Uh, that was a great opportunity. Then it was meeting collaborators, uh, people with whom I could expand the science, expand my results. And as I grew older, students, wonderful, wonderful students that are, uh, uh, that are, have full, they're full of enthusiasm and that helps us to go forward because as you know, Research is really a hard road. <laughs> so, so that's true and that brings us to the next question. So young scientists always feel pressurized to find their own research topic, to find their own research identity on which they can build their career. So in your view, um, what, is, what can you recommend to these scientists? Uh, what can, you, can they do, uh, what can facilitate to find this? I see what you mean. I think. Um, the first um, labs you go to as a student, be careful how you choose them. When you're in your interviews, you're not comfortable, of course. No one is comfortable. But try to find someone with whom you feel you have found a mentor. Someone who will be there uh, not only to teach, but also to help you start off. And don't be afraid. Be curious. Be curious. Um, I think that's the. Uh, I think that's. There's no. There's no topic that is not interesting. There's no topic that that has been fully explored. So, go for it. Really, go for it. <laughs> so, and from your perspective, what are three major attitudes which are required, especially for young students, to become an excellent scientist? Okay, so, excellent, you hope you will all be excellent scientists, you know. I don't think, except if you have a strong ego, <laughs> you don't, you're not sure you're going to be a strong scientist. I think the most important thing is to be honest, so that it's integrity. Integrity every day, in the way you interpret your results, in the way you present them, that is very important. You cannot cheat. Another thing is, you have to be curious, curious, not only of your field, but open up, open up and listen to what's happening 
wider. And then you have to be tenacious. Don't let yourself go down. I mean, there are hard times, but there are good times ahead. So keep at it. So tenaciousness, integrity, and curiosity, I think, would be the, uh, the things needed. So, Professor Boileau, thank you very much for giving us the opportunity to interview you. And also thanks to the audience on behalf of the scientists tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you.